everyone, welcome to a come food shopping video. I am doing my food shop today. I used to do like a proper weekly shop and I actually, a couple of years ago, used to do all of my food shopping online so it would be delivered. But just the amount of plastic that's involved in that is awful. So that's why now, rather than doing like one massive shop and ordering online, I just go into the food shops as and when I need them. And I've kind of got my go-to places now, which is where I'm going to be showing you today. Where I get all of like my fresh produce, I go to a place called Fulham Greens. It's like a little independent, fresh grocery store. It's really lovely. Um, and I can get all of my loose fruit and veg from there. And then also occasionally I go to farmer's market markets as and when, um, when I remember at the weekends. And then I also go to a place called Sourced Bulk Foods, which is where you can, you guessed it, get all of your bulk foods, so like cupboard essentials, whole foods, things like that, like quinoa, all kinds of grains. So we're going there today, that's in Chiswick. And then also the things that I can't find in the bulk food shop and Fulham Greens, I go to Waitrose to get things like tofu and oat milk. So first stop is Fulham Greens. I ended up getting way more than I actually had expected because the fruit and veg in there just looks so good, honestly, like so much better than any other supermarket. I found these incredible purple cauliflower, so I'm definitely going to be roasting that up tonight. And I found a really good looking butternut squash, so I'm thinking about making my vegan macaroni cheese tonight for Joe because you just basically like steam the squash and blend it all up and oh, so, so good. So I think I'm gonna do that. Um, and the fruit in there is so juicy, like the nectarines right now, because they're in season, are so delicious. Next stop is Sauce Bulk Foods. So this is where I get all of the greens and everything. And they also have like kombucha on tap that you can take home. You can make your own nut butters. I get weirdly excited about this place. We've got all of the chocolate here and the chocolate covered mulberries are my favourite. So I thought I would show you what I just got from the bulk food store. First thing is always remember to take your tote bag so that you don't end up like carrying a million jars and also you don't have to use a plastic bag and take your own jars and containers with you and all you do is before you fill everything up you weigh your glass jars and write on the bottom weight and then just fill them up. These are the most incredible chocolate mulberries. I'm obsessed with them. I went a bit mad and filled the jar up. We've got so many. I also got some quinoa. So that's just organic British grown quinoa. Always handy to have more covered. My favourite granola. This one is maple pecan granola. It's so, so delicious. Especially if you get some coconut yogurt and then just dip it with fresh fruit, berries and this one. I also found these protein balls. I've never had the protein balls from them before, but this one was salted caramel flavour, so couldn't resist. Some kombucha, mainly did it because it was fun to do it. This one was the hemp, that one was the mint kombucha, so looking forward to trying them one. So I got some soya chunks. I've never bought these before, and you basically hydrate them by boiling them in water for 10 minutes. And then you can add them to like stir fries, curries, soups, anything like that, add some bit of protein. And then, what was in this one? Oh yeah, some cashews, just some plain cashews. Because I was thinking about making that um, like butternut squash macaroni cheese tonight, part of the recipe is to soak some cashews and blend it up with the uh, steamed squash, so I needed to get some then. So that's everything I got and I have figured out that it works out quite a bit cheaper actually going to those bulk food stores 
there's no packaging involved so it's a great zero waste alternative because when you go to supermarkets obviously everything is in plastic and it does work out way more affordable so I'd highly recommend it. The one that I went to Source Bulk Foods they have the one in Chiswick that I've been to and also one in Battersea but you can find them kind of all over the country just google zero waste sustainable food source. So I'm now in Waitrose, this is the closest supermarket to me and it might seem a little bit hypocritical me being in a supermarket having just been in a zero waste bulk food store but the reason I come here is to buy all of the things that I can't get in fresh grocery stores like Fulham Greens where we were and also at the bulk food store so things like oat milks and vegan cheeses and anything like gnocchi that I can't buy fresh vegan. Um, so that's why I come here. They also do my favourite ice cream called Booja Booja, so I'm going to pick that up. And also Waitrose are really leading the way in terms of sustainable shopping because I don't know if you heard about the Waitrose Unpacked. It's only in Oxford at the moment, but it's where they have like a Whole Foods, like zero waste little area. I'm just waiting for it to come to London. But in the meantime, I'm still coming here just to get those little essentials. They also have a really good range of vegan foods at Waitrose and down here they have the white rabbit pizzas. If you haven't tried them, please go for the smoking vegan, it is so, so good. Okay, I'll quickly show you what I got from the grocery store. This is like the big leaf spinach, so not like the little baby leaves. I really love using this more than the baby spinach, just because you get a lot more. And also it's really good, like if it starts wilting and you're, you haven't used all of it, because there is quite a lot here, I just blended up stalks and all into some smoothies with some protein powder, some bananas, I'm gonna put this in my fruit bowl. This fruit bowl, by the way, was from Rwanda. I bought it from the women that had made it there, if you remember that video. A couple of avocados. These felt perfectly ripe, so we don't have to wait for ages. Oh, the nectarines, amazing, so juicy. A lime and a lemon, and then the hugest sweet potato ever. One red pepper, one yellow pepper. An onion, I'll we'll take that skin off, for the macaroni cheese tonight. And the butternut squash. These have just come into season, by the way. And this amazing purple cauliflower. I've never ever bought a purple cauliflower before. I've had them in restaurants before, and I seem to remember they kind of just taste like normal white cauliflower, but they're so much prettier. Oh no, we've got a bit of a disaster with the tomatoes. I think some are a bit squashed, but I got some red vine tomatoes. Oh, it's gonna get caught up. I really should have thought about this, but oh, I'm dropping them everywhere. And also, oh, if I can get them, some of the little orange cherry tomatoes. So that's everything I got from the grocery store and that will last me quite a while. And like I said, I literally just go there as and when I need to. I don't do like one big shop once a week because I just feel like that's when loads goes to waste. So in my mind, I have an idea of like recipes that I want to make for the next few days and that's just exactly what I'll buy. And if I need to, I can just pop back and get, you know, the odd bits and bobs. And now what I got from Waitrose. So I got a tin of chopped tomatoes just because they're always handy to just have in the cupboard and I know I'm out of them at the moment. I got some tofu. I love the tofu company. This is the plain original one. And that's really good just because you can do anything with it. You could even blend it up and make chocolate mousse out of it because it's just basically unflavored. And then I also got the smoked one. This is amazing in stir fries and it's actually the only tofu that Joe likes because it just has a bit more like flavor going on and that smoky taste is so nice. I also got some of the, um, is this BioLife? Yeah, BioLife grated cheese. Uh, I don't get that all the time to be honest. I do tend to avoid, as you know, like processed foods quite frequently, but every now and again, it's just such a nice treat to get some vegan cheese and that's why I go to Waitrose to get it. 
I also got these little chalk pots from the Coconut Collaborative. These were sent to me a couple of weeks ago, just these ones, the normal plain chocolate pots. They are unbelievable, I'll show you. They come in these tiny, tiny little pots and they just taste like the creamiest, it's not like a chocolate mousse, it's just like the creamiest, smoothest chocolate desserts. Oh, they are incredible and I don't like a lot of coconut stuff. Like I like it, but not loads of it. These were amazing and then, so that's why I got them today. And then I also spotted they have the salted caramel ones, which I haven't tried yet, so I'm excited for those. They're just perfect for like little desserts after dinner if you fancy something sweet. Paca Herbs, these are my favourite brand of teas. This is the Chamomile Vanilla and Manuka Honey. My favourite tea is this one, if I can get it. The Feel New, honestly, the best tea in the world. <laughs> I tell everyone about this tea, it's so, so good. It's um, aniseed, fennel and cardamom, delicious. Caffeine free, so you can have it before bed as well. So, got the chamomile, which is lovely as well. Another essential, oat milk. I always get the oatly one, and this is the organic oat drink. Oh, oh, this was a bit of a spontaneous buy. I've never had these before. They were right next to the coconut collaborative little pots. These are called Freaks of Nature, and they are like hot desserts. You put them in the microwave, I think, or in the oven or something. And this is a dairy and gluten-free chocolate fudge hot pudding. Oh my God, amazing. And then this one is dairy and gluten-free sticky toffee pudding. Fun fact, sticky toffee puddings are Joe's favorite desserts. Like, even if he's not hungry and there's like a sticky toffee dessert on a menu in a restaurant, he just cannot say no. He's like, I mean, sticky toffee pudding. Be rude not to. And then, oh, I've really gone crazy on the desserts. This is so actually not like me. I've, they all last a long time though, so it's okay. Nothing will go to waste. Booja booja ice cream. This is the caramel pecan praline one. It is my favourite flavour of the Booja Booja range. It has like swirls of the caramel in there. And then it was like buy one get one free. So I got the chocolate salted caramel one, which is good as well, but not as good as the caramel pecan one. And that is everything I got from Waitrose. So I hope you found that interesting. It was a bit of like a weird video, I suppose, because I'm literally just doing my food shopping, which seems like the most like, normal, mundane thing to do, but I have been like getting so many requests on like how do you do your food shop, especially since I've been more interested in sustainability and just eco-friendly alternatives to things and shopping, food shopping especially, is like one of the biggest things that can just, you can accumulate so much plastic and waste. So I'm absolutely not perfect, I know that, like I've been to Waitrose and I'm buying things in containers, so I'm, a long way off being completely sustainable, but I'm really enjoying like the process of going to the bulk food stores. I genuinely find it fun. Like I get excited to go to those stores. It just makes the whole shopping experience so much better. But while things like this, like you can't buy ice cream without packaging, you're not going to get that at the moment anyway in a bulk food store. That's why I still do go to supermarkets for the occasional things. And I know I've got a long way to go, um, but I'm getting there and it's all part of a journey, right? And I'm definitely moving in the right direction. So this is how I do my food shop. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Oh, and before I go, I would really love it if you could leave any tips in the comments for me or other viewers about how to shop more sustainably. That would be so, so helpful. And one more thing, I just wanted to show you dinner tonight. I told you I would be making the macaroni cheese. This is from my book, Eat Smart. So in there we have the butternut squash and the cherry tomatoes and the onion from Fulham Greens. So thanks so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.